hey hello guys so welcome back to hackers colony once again and this is azar so guys today in this video i'm going to show you how to use thermax x11 and how to install thermax x11 in a very easy way and as to let you know thermax x11 is much more advanced and much more easier to use and to install than NetHunter Kex or RVNC because many a times when we run RVNC or NetHunter Kex we get lots of errors and problem and uh, this connection but using X11 you won't face this problem and you can see on the screen I have shown you a very small uh, screenshot of that how gonna how it's gonna look and it's very easy to use and it's very beautiful and very interesting you will feel too comfortable to use this one so let's get started all right guys so before we go ahead if you're interested in learning more about ethical hacking do subscribe our channel that is hackers colony tech for more ethical, ethical hacking videos and if you want to learn more you can do join our whatsapp telegram facebook link link is given in the description of the video kindly check it out all right guys so let's get started all right guys so you should have two application installed in your phone first the one is thermax I'm pretty sure since you're watching this video so you might already be having the Thermax install in it. Now the next application you have to install that is Thermax X11. So guys I have given you Thermax X11 link in the description kindly check it out from there and I'm going to show you how to install it. So once you click on the link from the description you will come to this page you have to scroll it down and install the first one ARM64 okay. It will take like couple minutes to install so wait for a while it's a very small thing alright and it won't take much of your time. Right, so once it's installed click on that and then install it directly install it and it will take like a couple of seconds it's gonna be real quick All right so once it's installed click on open so once you click on open guys you might be able to see a problem like this like an error like that not connected preferences help exit so click on exit now you're all done now here you can see on your screen you have the thermax x11 on your screen now first of all you will have to open thermax so that you'll be able to set up your thermax x11 all right so now first command that you have to run that is apt update and an apt upgrade space hyphen y and hit on enter it will take a couple of seconds and it can update all the grimler packages repos on your thermax now go for the next command that is pkg install pkg install x 11 hyphen repo then hit on enter and wait for a while now once this is done go for the next command that is pkg install thermax hyphen x11 hyphen nightly and hit on enter and wait for a while and guys i have a very good internet connection so it's working very fast very fast but in your in your condition it might be a little bit slow depending on your internet connection all right so don't need to worry you need to have some patience then go for the next command that is pkg install xf sorry xfce uh, xf x11 i'm sorry xf ce space gimp and then hit on enter and wait for a while now once this is done go for the last command that is thermax hyphen x11 and then you can see the rest of thing it, it, it is just to start the session okay so hit on enter i, I, I will do give I'll do, I'll do share the command in the description also as well so you'll be able to check from there as well okay then hit on enter now once you hit on enter you will be automatically be able to see it will start running okay so once you see this uh, it is running and you can see kind of stuff on a screen like that the desktop like this okay then you just need to minimize the screen then open your thermax x11 and then you can see the beautiful thermax x11 on your screen now it will take time some uh, to start up so once you see over here now let me show you. you can see the cursor on your screen then you just have to take it to the right top corner and once you click on this you can see lock screen switch user shut down log out so once you're done you can just click on log out to log it out now here you can write a uh, left top corner you can see applications click on that here you can see run programs and if you want to run, uh, uh, I mean install any app or anything you can just click on the terminal emulator and the terminal will come up and you can see it's much more better right so you here you get the root permission okay so video is still now um, this is the installation part only so you can you once you come over here you will have to watch the second part for this so let me show you how does it works let me just type apt update and hit on enter once i hit the apt up and hit on enter you can see it's working very smoothly right you can run the root tool as well very easily and it's very easy to use you know and once you're done you can just click on the x it will get it will be closed you can close like this you have all the functions and all the applications over here like mail reader web browser settings you can change the graphics and everything as per your convenience and once you're done right top corner click on here you can see logout just click on logout and then here you can click on logout and boom you're done then you have to you'll be able to see like exit click on exit 
your back and open up a thermax simply click on control c exit then type exit hit on enter and you are done so guys video is still here only if you face any problem anything do comment and do join our group to learn more about ethical hacking and if this video was helpful guys do like subscribe and click on bell icon for more interesting videos so guys thank you so much for watching the video guys see you in the next video guys bye bye